Hey, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. And I'm dealing with another consequence film, number three of my consequences film for my Oscar and YouTube reviewers challenge, and this time around, it's The Smurfs. Yes, I know the sequel came out this weekend, but after watching this film, well, you'll get the gist of it. We get the Smurfs. We get our happy blue guys living in the forest and behind a protective shield from their evil arch nemesis, Gargamel. Well, when things go awry and they get sucked into the real world, they have to find a way to get back to their Smurfy world, all the while avoiding the Smurf villain of Gargamel, who also gets sucked into the real world with them. Smurfy, Smurf, Smurf, Smurf. This film was a full, whole on Smurf-tacular disaster, folks. Oh, man. You know, it's funny. I, I didn't mind okay with the Smurfs and the CGI. That looked really good. And, and they did feel like Smurfs. But one, this had to be a hard sell anyway, going from animated to live action CGI film. Uh, you know, some things just don't translate well. And let me tell you, in this film, the thing that didn't translate well out of everything else was Gargamel. Oh my lord. And it's not Hank Azaria's fault. I, I really don't think so. He's doing his best to play this character. But the script, the way they wrote Gargamel was awful. And the way he was directed just... Ah, oh, you, you, it was like nails on a chalkboard. Every scene you get Gargamel in. Ah, oh, it was painful. And his CGI uh, cat, Azrael was a little more entertaining. In fact, I wish they would have just kept Azrael and not Gargamel, because, folks, there's some things that translate well from animated to live action. Gargamel really wasn't one of them. And again, I think it's because of the script and the directing as well, uh, but also that type of character. Now, Neil Patrick Harris, I'm hoping the director will give Neil Patrick Harris his dog back after holding it hostage and making Neil make Smurfs, and now Smurfs 2 that just came out. Dude, you don't need the money! Really, you don't need the money. Do some commercials. Go some, on Old Spice. Something. But you don't need to do something like this. And it, oh, it was just painful that, that he was in a film like this. What's worse is uh, there were some moments that I actually liked. And that's the thing. is The film was so bad that when I found a little bit that I actually laughed at, I felt embarrassed that I laughed at it because the rest of the movie is such crap. I'm like, oh, huh, oh uh. Yeah, because it did. I mean, you'd laugh and you go, oh, this is, you know, stepping up and then, uh, you know, Gargamel do something and that just ruined it. <laughs> yeah, and I know it's a kid's movie and I know it's meant for young kids. I can see why it was a consequence film. <laughs> the only real good part is there was a couple scenes with Neil and Patrick Harris and Papa Smurf where they were uh, doing their scene. They're just them. I actually enjoyed those moments. Those actually had moments of glimmer of hope. Those were the ones where, hey, you know, maybe, and then they'd show, do something and have Gargamel do something stupid, and yeah, and they rip off the Dark Crystal. They so rip off the Dark Crystal. Gargamel is looking for the Smurf essences. Hey, I was waiting for uh, Sketchy to come out from the background and go, mine, mine. I found the Smurfs! Smurfity Smurf Smurf! You know, Gargamel sucking the essences out of the Smurfs, which have abilities of not, you know, not limited to making you grow younger. Yes, seriously, folks. I, I like, wow, way to rip off the Dark Crystal and put it in this craptacular film called The Smurfs. No stubs, as you can imagine, folks. I can't believe it justified making a sequel for this. Really, I think it's failed in the writing, the directing, and just give Neil Patrick his dog back so he can stop making these films. Please, please do that. I beg you. Heck, I'll, I'll pay you money for the admission of a film just to stop making any more Smurfs movies. And that'll about do it for us here till the final cut. Until next time, keep that Smurf.